briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing display of corporate versus employee law, the Supreme Court of Texas ruled in the 2002 case in Re Halliburton Company that companies can require at will employees to resolve disputes through arbitration agreements. The caveat, however, as decided in the court, was that these agreements should not unfairly strip away rights from the employees or provide for biased arbitration procedures. The case was set into motion when James Myers, an at-will employee of oil field services giant Halliburton, claimed he was demoted due to racial and age discrimination. Instead of taking the normal route of arbitration as laid out by Halliburton's dispute resolution program, Myers opted to file a lawsuit against the company. He argued that the arbitration provision was biased, and the promises made by his employer lacked authenticity, putting the court in a position to determine the arbitration clause's validity under both federal and state law. The court reached a consensus that Halliburton's arbitration program was not only acceptable, but enforceable, thereby meeting the requirements to alter an at-will employment contract. Myers, whose arguments hinged on the claim that the program was unconscionable, was informed that such assertions were not within the court's jurisdiction, but that of an arbitrator. The pivotal conclusion was that the employer's motion to enforce arbitration should have initially been approved. The arbitration clause offered by Halliburton was deemed enforceable, having satisfied the condition that it didn't waive substantive rights while providing a fair playing field for disputes. The drama of this case lies not in its resolution, but in the implications it has for future employment law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.